Hey guys, it's Bool again with Airsoft Retreat and BooligianAirsoft.com. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the newest version of the Wolf Spider Goggles by Revision Military. I have previously used their older version from a few years ago, uh, which we have right here. And a little bit later on in this video we're going to be doing a uh, comparison between the two, see what improvements they made, what changes. Um, most of this review is going to be a bench review because, well, obviously you can't tell too much about them from here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a little bit closer look at uh, what these goggles can offer for you. Alright, now that we can take a little bit of a closer look, a couple of the things that you'll notice about the Wolf Spider design are that it is a, it's a very low profile design. It uses a dual adjuster strap system. Um, and there's plenty of strap length to allow for mounting with a helmet. It uses an interchangeable lens system, and the kit that I'm reviewing includes three different lenses, smoked, clear, and yellow. Smoked is obviously for high light, clear is for low light, and the yellow lens is great for high contrast work, including um, like if you're in a foggy or, or smoggy environment. We'll do a lens change in just a little bit. I want to take a look at some of the external features. First off, it uses a dual compound technology, so you have a, a rigid, stiff mainframe. However, the gasket, if you will, where it meets your face, is very soft and flexible. There's actually no real meeting point. You can kind of see in the nose piece where it's, it's actually molded together. They mold these two different materials together into one solid piece. Because of that, it's very strong. To change the lens, you simply pop the frame, That, boom, your lens is out. You can go ahead and grab one of the alternate lenses. Kit includes a cleaning cloth and the different lenses. Gotta keep them safe from scratching, keeps them protected. And you simply pop the edges in. Don't be afraid to muscle it in there a little bit because, you know, Obviously, the lens being properly locked in place is critical, and there you go. I mean, really, it's just a couple of seconds to change the lens. It's a, it's a pretty awesome system. Okay, now we're going to compare the old version and the new version to show the differences between the two, what changes revision made, and uh, how it could work out better for you. I have used the old version for many years. I use it for a lot of things outside of the airsoft field, including motorcycling and skiing, and it works great for that. Um, I've taken the foam off. You see the foam's still in place on the new one. No foam on the old one. Uh, for a little bit better ventilation, the vents on this are kind of small. We'll talk about how they've changed that with the new model. The biggest difference you'll see is the two-tone finish. The more rigid Palmer material is black, the softer, more flexible material, you see it's got some good you know, squish to it, is gray. Other difference, strap, old one says revision, new one doesn't, and it's a slightly rougher material. The cases are different. The older version had this nice kind of neoprene case, it had two little straps on it. Um, the new one is a simple, there I call it a cloth bag, Velcro closure, um, and a single loop for mounting it. So let's go ahead and we'll pop the lens out of the old model so we can take a little bit closer look at the differences in the frames. It's very hard to tell, but this is slightly thicker than the older version. The reason is twofold. First, I'm not sure how well this will show up on camera. You see these little ridges right here? These are for mounting the prescription carrier that they have available through Revision's website. Prescription carrier clicks in place, and boom, you can have prescription lenses underneath your uh, eye protection. It's not recommended that you wear these over glasses, plus they're so low profile it is kind of hard to actually wear them over glasses. If we look inside, this is also gonna be a little bit hard to tell. Kind of pull the frame out a little bit to see how big these vents are. The vents along the front, these big side vents, and the vents on top are all much, much larger than the old ones see much smaller vents. The side vents are practically not even there compared to this. We'll do a little bit of a side-by-side -side test to see. I mean, it is, it is kind of hard to tell with this camera angle, but the vents are much bigger on the new one. 
Um, because of that, I don't think you'll have to remove the foam because I think you'll be able to get good enough airflow even with the foam in place. And the foam is nice for keeping particulate matter out, um, dust and dirt, stuff like that. With the foam gone on my old ones, I would have a problem when skiing occasionally. If I was skiing in snowy conditions, snow would come up through the vents and, um, and get in my eyes. It's kind of an unpleasant process. But those are the main differences between the two. The new version, like I said, has a single color design, doesn't have the revision on the side, and it's a little bit thicker. However, you can use it with the prescription carrier, which is a really, really nice touch. And then the ventilation is much, much better. The lenses and everything are pretty much the same between the two. I mean, you've got new lens in the right hand, old lens in the left. They are pretty much exactly the same. Slight, slight cut difference, but it, they, they'll fit in each other's carriers. Um, the new ones actually have markings on them, marked as Z87 Plus S. Um, Revision tests these things with a shotgun. I mean, that they, it'll take a shotgun blast to the face. Your face won't do very well, but hey, your eyes will be protected. So don't try that at home. Let, re let Revision, the guys over there, that's what they do. They know how to test stuff. So overall, I mean, it's a really comfortable goggle design. It works really well with helmets um, or even without helmets. This, this kind of staggered off design here where it kicks out a little bit, makes it work really, really well with the helmet. And I've got some pictures of me wearing it with the Giro Bevel um, ski helmet, but I actually use it for Airsoft as well. Um, so be sure for, for more information, you know, check out the full reviews. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, and go back and take a look at, you know, some of your ordering and pricing options on these things. All right, now that we've taken a closer look at the Wolf Spider system by Revision Military, um, let's talk about price, availability, and uh, the different packages that you can get. Currently, it is for sale at a couple of different airsoft retailers. However, I really have to recommend purchasing them directly from Revision Military uh, because they frequently run specials. In fact, through the uh, end of the first week of April, I believe, of uh, 2013, they're offering 30% off. So um, be sure to check out the link in the information section for um, the information on how to how to get that. They also include a couple of uh, uh, other throwing items, some dead rags. It's, it's a pretty good deal. Um, like I said, you can get these directly from Revision through their website, revisionmilitary.com. And they're available in a few different packages. There's what's called the Essentials Package and the Deluxe Package. Uh, the main difference is what lenses it includes. I did the review of the Deluxe Package, and as such, it includes three different lenses, the clear, the smoked, and yellow lenses, and um, as I mentioned on the uh, on the table, you know the different purposes of these different lenses. Um, so be sure for full information on this uh, goggle system, as well as detailed comparisons with the uh, older model. Be sure to check out the reviews on Airsoft Retreat and BooliganAirsoft.com, both of which will be linked in the information section on this on this video. So thanks for watching. 